everyone for coming today. Thanks everyone, still speaking. Yeah. What happened in court today is precisely what we wanted to happen. The High Court certified that we had raised point of law, point of law of general public importance and that the Supreme Court has good grounds to hear this appeal. The situation now is that the Supreme Court has to decide whether it will hear the appeal. But make no mistake, we won today in court. But let's not forget that every time we win, as long as this case isn't dropped, as long as Julian isn't free, Julian continues to suffer. For almost three years, he's been in Belmar's prison, and he is suffering profoundly, day after day, week after week, year after year. Julian has to be freed, and we hope that this will soon end. But we are far from achieving justice in this case because Julian has been incarcerated for so long and he should not have spent a single day in prison. If there had been justice, the officials who plotted, who conspired to murder Julian, would be in the courtroom right now. If there were justice, the crimes that Julian exposed, war crimes, the killing of innocent civilians, would not be impugned. Our fight goes on, and we will fight this until Julian is free. Thank you. that after the magistrate court came to its decision, the Americans were allowed to bring forth the so-called assurances that they would treat Julian fairly if and when he was actually in the United States. Everybody that has looked into those so-called assurances have condemned them and judged them as not being worth the paper they are written on. The American government has made such assurances before, and they have broken those assurances. They actually entail in those assurances the clause that they can change their mind at any moment. So it's not worth anything. But as Stella says, the fight will continue, and it will not end until Julian is free from Belmont's prison, and until the U.S. government drops this case which is a blatant and serious attack on press freedom worldwide. But this today was a partial victory, a partial victory, but as Stella says, the punishment goes on. It's a punishment by process, a serious human rights violation. The torture is ongoing at Belmont's prison. He has been there for more than 1,000 days. That is happening here in this country today. That is the newest item of the day. Thank you. So, from the Borders Without Borders, I would just like to add, again, we welcome this decision. This is a positive step. It's not far enough yet, but it is a step in the right direction. This case is historical. It will be hugely precedent setting. It will have implications for journalism and press freedom in the UK, in the US, and internationally for many years to come. It deserves review by the highest court in this land. And so we very much hope that the Supreme Court will accept this appeal. As others have said as well, the situation that Julian Assange himself is in is very urgent. We have serious concerns about his well-being at Belmarsh Prison. The long-standing mental health issues are well documented. We have concerns about his physical health as well, especially knowing what we know now about the mini stroke that he suffered in October and about the uh, reports of rising COVID infections in the prison again at this time. He is not safe as long as he is there. He should be immediately released whilst this process is ongoing. So from Reporters Without Borders, we will continue to campaign uh, to free Assange. We call on the Biden administration again to drop the charges, to close this case once and for all. This legal process does not have to continue. It is in the power of those in the U.S. government 
to, to put a stop to this at any time. They can do so. And we will continue to be here and to monitor any further legal proceedings in this case. Thank you. Thank you.